What the hell is weed? He said, what the fuck that is weed? Ugh. Hey, guys, me, I'm Charles Brown, and, and as you can tell, I'm pissed off by this book. Because this book was garbage. Ugh. So, enjoy the rest of my rant. Okay, so, as you can tell my intro, as you can tell, I'm very happy about this book. Why? Because at a zero year issue, it made no sense. Because all, all the stuff tied to zero year were all bad. Except the Batman stuff. Batman stuff was like, what, what's, what's going to be the plot of this train, actually? Six years ago, the age of Superhero was just beginning. Bullshit. The young Bruce Wayne had only recently married as Batman, and it already facing a full scale disaster. Not a storm hanging for Gotham City in order to shut down city power. Look at Batman not only champion out in the storm. Though they might not all be held yet, Superman, Flash, Green Arrow, Batgirl, Catwoman, Green Ranger, Batwoman, Bat Batman, Nightwing, Rider, Eric, fucking Leonard, Black Canary, all fighting through the Gary Pet Goblin. But wait, the effort, the young intensity will be held in that same city? <laughs> Answer! No! Oh. Oh. Now! Now, as you can tell about this book, you can tell I'm very happy with this story because here's the thing. All the stuff with Zillia don't tie in together because none of them make any sense. The Batman stuff with the Joker is from Scott Snyder. Look, people are going to hate me about this, but this is one of the worst Scott Snyder books I ever read. Because the, the whole way Red Hood Gang and that one with, with Batman in general, trying to uncover the Joker. One, it's on the nose. Two, it's it's boring. Three, and, and uh, as a fan of Killing Joke, it could be wrecked on Killing Joke and, and make Joker the origin not special, just stupid. And, <laughs> contrary to the popular belief about Scott Snyder, Scott's not a good writer, but he's one of his worst stories ever. Oh, it gets even worse. What's that? Oh, I know. Superman and Zero the Italian. No, I'm not kidding. They have to put Superman and Zero the Italian in this book. And guess what it is? Another teacher and jeans for Orton story bullshit. And guess what? It's all just stupid. I am Superman actually not actually Superman action and look at Big Chuck. Then I did new pictures of Superman, so you know what? I haven't seen new pictures of Superman at all, but you know uh, fine. That one was a little bit bad. They back out zero your time in this book. That one was okay, not great, but I seen better. Um, the Batwing Orton story. Oh, that one was uh, boring. The Nightwing zero your time. What's that Nightwing doing again? Gee, that's a great idea. Translation? No, it isn't. It's stupid. Ugh. The Green Arrow is very Italian. It was interesting, but nothing special. Um, it's not Italian's book. Oh, I know one time that, that pissed me off the most. Red Hood, very Italian. Red Hood, very Italian. It's a complete and utter waste of time and one of the worst story I ever read. And if I tell ya, but it makes no sense because I know what it's history. Black time I remember, Jason Todd, aka Leonard, didn't become Leonard until he met Batman. But this is before Batman. So stupid. Apparently, he Leonard in, in this tie in hat as him joined the Leonard gang. Which. What? So, the time Jason Todd w became Leonard before he met Batman? How does that make any sense? Oh, this is so stupid. Oh, it gets worse. Uh, what's what an Italian this train wreck? Oh yeah, Barry, Barry Allen is zero Italian, the Flash. That Italian was completely you know, pointless because it meant nothing. It it didn't time the to zero year, and it, as an event, it just needs an origin story. Which. New Flash writers, we, we don't need more or the, or the Flash. Wait, stop adding more Flash to the Baron Allen. No one can do about Baron Allen. Well, well, now they do. They need to write a TV show. But, it's in topic. That tie-in is pointless. The John Stewart's doing the tie-in. 
also pointless. All these 12 times were all completely and utterly pointless. What did I just read? Uh, one time I just already know the bat one time. Because bat one time it's actually interesting because it involves her and it was a father and me, Alfred and Boozman for the first time. That was cool. I like that time. That time was a good, good one. All the other times, all pointless. Black Canary time, pointless. Like, all the times were all garbage. I, 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 I don't like something better than this. In fact, I, I did. Like a fan picture like, on uh, my smart and that is the The Golden Time. Okay, the Jim Golden Time I mean, was interesting, but it's nothing special. It's just him copying like, like year one. Um, that one was yeah, not that great. Now, as for the main story, so it was Scott Snyder, Batman. Um, like I said, the Scott Snyder, Batman stuff was interesting, but again, it, it's a pointless origin story because we've seen that in origin story done with twenty times, and at a, at a zero year, at zero year itself goes, it's pointless because I know Batman origin story. Like, I, I, I don't need to see, once I, again, oh, well, boy, I can see a joke in the story. This hardcover makes, it's hardcover, it's a waste of time, one of the worst things I ever read. And I, and, and I read better than New 52, than New 52 with Garden Game, but I'm all, I'm all over the place. Anyways. I feel the artwork itself, okay, the artwork itself by um, all these art, artists are, so, so, some of it is good, some of it is really bad and really stupid. Oh, one more time you're going to be going to mention Catwoman tie-in. Guess what that's about? Give up? Catwoman tie-in is about her becoming Catwoman. Oh, joy! I didn't know Catwoman or the story. I don't care. Next. Yeah. Oh, this book was completely yummy. Why, why, why did I read this crap? Ugh. Uh, okay. Okay, okay. The one good thing I about this book in there is the uh, yeah, by uh, Greg Capo and Scott Snyder. That's about it. All the Italians could jump in a lake because none of them make any sense. Anyways. One one thing that pissed me off during with the Joker. Or Red Hood Gang. Um correct me along. Joke of the Origin was a killing joke. If I wanted to joke of the Origin, I could use what, what's killing joke? Or what any other thing with Joke of the Origin? Why, why do I need to see it again in this, in this stupid event book that makes no sense? Oh, and a, and a crossover story. It's not a crossover. It's just like, like a marketing gimmick. That's what it's more than zero year. What is a marketing gimmick to begin with? Because I a Batman story, it's meh. What? Not really great. This, this guy's not one of the worst stories. Um, after, after the 12 zillion times that across this universe, you're missing some character like Tim Drake. Where's Tim? Oh, wait, he's not in this book. Only to inside Nightmare are the one that's special, and Barbara, they're the one who's special. Tim Drake gets the shaft. Fuck. Ugh. It's it's one it's one why I'm I'm over the I'm all over the place because this book is all over the place. This book is not consistent. It, it's inconsistent. It's boring, garbage, and one of the worst stories I ever read. Scott Snyder, I know you're a good writer, but this one is a weird Batman story. All the, and all the other times by Greg Greg Pak, Jeff Lemire, and and Jimmy Pagliotti, and all the other writers. I, I don't know what, what were you thinking, but all these other. These tiny stories make no sense, they're pointless. Don't read th them. Anyway, I, I, I should have to sell because my mouth is getting dry. <sighs> Alright. Final boss of DC Comics Zero Year. It's a fan of Batman. I should skip this. It's not worth reading. And it's a fan of all the DC characters. Don't read this. This is one of the worst new 52 stories I ever read. And one of the worst new 52 books I ever read, period. I can wait. Troop, Troop was second. Speak of truth, stay tuned for that. Okay, I, I'm, I'm going to review another arc of that 
train wreck. So, enjoy that. And we go. Final parts. That's my review of DC Comics on Zero Year. Um, please co comment down below. Do you know about the train wreck? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Also, I can feed the page following Twitter and please just comment. Oh, yeah. One more thing. Oh, I'll give my rating. I give DC Comics Zero Year. Come on, please. A two out of five stars. Most regards, there was something I liked, but not a lot. This hardcover not worth reading. Just check out the other guy I did. Like, it's not worth it, just skip it. Anyway, so, that's our view of, of DJ Comics Zero Year. Please comment, comment, and tell you about, about this comic. You like it, you hate Also, uh, if you're free to be on Twitter, and please subscribe to my channel. Scott Snyder, you can do better. See ya. Bye.